hope you're ashamed of yourself. You should be. It's 70 degrees out. You have bunny boots on. Hey everyone, and before we get to the meat of this video real fast, I wanted to do a quick update. I did finally find that uh, little document that stated about you having to show your registration and all that stuff to an officer or FAA official. And I'll have a link in the description below with the specific links where you can find these at, and you can look at them yourself. And, but there is one interesting thing to note, that they don't specify any penalties or any actual uh, CFRs or regulations saying that you have to do this. So it is up to you if you want to go ahead and defy an officer if or FAA official if you're stopped and asked about your drone registration or your registration number that's on your drone or something like that if you're stopped and questioned about that after you're flying or during your, uh, when you're flying. Now moving on, I have over the weekend I ended up attending this International Drone Day meetup that was sponsored by Arctic Zone Drone, and I'll leave a link in the description also for their website. Their company that is getting started to do drone imaging in the state of Alaska. They're currently waiting on their uh, 333 paperwork to finish up with the FA before really going full on, I guess, on the commercial aspect. But it was pretty cool actually meeting up uh, over there. There's a few other people that showed up with some drones. I got to see, uh, I can't remember the name of the, the black model there off the top of my head. And I got to see a DJI Inspire 1, which also had, uh, which was owned by the Arctic Drone Zone. And they had the uh, goggle setup where you can plug in your smartphone into it. And you can literally turn your head around while wearing these goggles and control the camera and look at any direction where that camera could uh, turn and look at. That actually was quite interesting and a surprising thing. I would love to maybe eventually get my hands on something like that in the future, but as is, funds are not available for doing that kind of a thing. But moving on, uh, there was a few other people that showed up. It was quite a small amount of people that were there, but then again, Alaska is a very big state with a very small population and even smaller population of those that uh, own drones in the first place and are willing to travel out to this location on the Kinnick River to uh, show up and talk about drones and all that stuff. But needless to say, there were some quite interesting people that were there. There was even a 3D printer that was set up and demonstrating its little printing capabilities. And also they had information about the drone registration there on their little billboard or pla uh, board they had set up to the side there. Information about uh, joining up with the uh, AMA, the American Model Aircraft Association, I think it was called. And a, a few other little safety tidbits and stuff like that. But overall, it was quite the uh, fun little meetup kind of thing to show up and do fly around with the drones, talk and socialize and network and all that stuff. Uh, I'll be interested to see if there's any other future events like this. There'll probably be another one next year on the next International Drone Day. It's something I didn't even know about. And I guess maybe something that just started recently. I haven't had time to research or anything like that. But that's pretty much about it for this video. Oh, and one last thing. The next video will either be an update on the Kickstarter campaign and hopefully at the uh, go for launch or a First Amendment test video.